Sports, driven by your Oklahoma Ford dealers. Yeah, congratulations, Dina. That's great. Welcome into sports, everybody. Well, we got that Red River route everybody was expecting. Only it happened in a way nobody was expecting. OU's three-game winning streak against Texas is finished, and Sooner Nation adjusting its expectations. Obviously, the team, we didn't think that was going to happen, and, and we're a lot better team than that out there that we would like to play. You know, every player on this team is very disappointed. Uh, obviously, not the way you want to play in such a big game. Our whole thing this week was give them our best shot, and there's no way that they got our best shot. We were focused. We were tough. Uh, we were confident, uh, resilient, in great shape, uh, and, and these guys did not let up at all. You know, again, nothing was good today. Um, for whatever reason, we just weren't on. Texas scored touchdowns on offense, defense, and special teams, but the Longhorns controlled this game with its ability to run the ball right up the gut. 255 yards rushing without defensive tackle Jordan Phillips and linebacker Corey Nelson up the middle. OU's previously top-ranked Big 12 defense has some issues. I think for me, our inability to stop the run is the most disappointing part of today. Uh, again, we got to find uh, you know, something that works, works better, and um, be a little better against the run. It, it was tough. They, they did a good job in there. Um, you know, those guys uh, weren't able to play. Corey won't be playing the rest of the year, so we've got to try and find ways to absorb it. Um, it, it doesn't make it easy. A rough Red River debut for Blake Bell. Less than 50% passing, two interceptions, one a pick six. I had guys in my face, and I tried to tried to make a play and, and like I was telling everyone else, you throw a ball off your back foot and you got pressure in your face, the ball's gonna, gonna sail on you. Uh, I'm just gonna, I just have to step step into it and, and take a shot. Uh, offensive football, you're gonna need big plays, absolutely. Uh, your skill guys gotta be able to make big plays. Your quarterback's gotta be able to uh, convert uh, things on third down. And at the end of the day, we didn't do any of those. After three straight big wins over the burn orange, was overconfidence a factor? You know, so I, I'm not going to say we were, but at the end of the day, um, you know, they, they played a lot better than we did. I knew we would play really hard, and I knew we'd play really well. I didn't know that that would be good enough to win, but I thought we would win. But I knew that this was going to be a different mindset coming into this game because they were not happy with the last two years. We knew we were going to get their best shot. Um, we knew it's a rivalry game. It doesn't matter, you know, what happened the last two years. Great football team, and uh, yeah, we just flat out got beat. Sooners dropped to five and one. Your Big 12 standings. The state of Texas is pretty great right about now. Texas Tech, Texas, and Baylor all unbeaten. OU and OSU there with one loss apiece. Sooners visiting Kansas next Saturday, looking to bounce back.